guys welcome back to my channel this is Tommy's color pavilion and my name is Tommy in today's video I'm going to be sharing my top hacks for making your perfume last longer and generally how to take care of your perfume so my first hack is this don't store your perfume in your bathroom or damp places rather store them in your room this is because if you store them in damp places or places that have a lot of heat it's going to break down the perfume quality and it won't last as long as you want it to last so store it in your room or somewhere that is quite airy number two hack to make your perfume last a lot of people know this but just in case you need to make your perfume if you need to make your perfume last a long while take a dab or a bit of petroleum jelly and just apply it on the pulse points where you normally apply your perfume so it's going to last for a long time and just take your perfume and dab it on that spot that's it it will last a lot longer than you just dabbing it on your skin now tritely. So the number three hack for you is to spray your perfume just after you're taking your shower rather than when you've worn your clothes because it can stain your jewelry, it can stain your clothes and it even lasts longer when you just wear your perfume right after you've taken your bath and you're getting dressed. It will last longer. Just try it and you'll see the difference. Many of us do this, but it's wrong. It's wrong for you when you apply your perfume on your wrist, for instance. It's wrong for you to rub it together. Sometimes we do this, so do this so that it can be transferred from one wrist to the other wrist. Rather, just dab and dab on the second hand or the second wrist so that the top note of the perfume is not lost and you still have the same quality of perfume. When you dab it and you rub your wrist together, it reduces the quality of the perfume so well it's like a cliche but just in case you have to target the pulse points when you're applying your perfume in your wrist the back of your neck on your bean drift like your tummy your behind your knees your behind your ears these are the places that your scent needs to stay on for a long time so rather than you just applying perfume all over your body please target your pulse point when you're applying your perfume for a lighter sense, you see people doing this, but some of us might not know the reason why this is done. If you want a strong perfume, you want to wear a strong perfume, but at the same time you don't want to appear, and by the same time you don't want to appear as like having a strong scent at that time, just spray it into the room like so, and you walk into it. That way, the quality of the perfume is not lost, and you don't have that kind of strong pungent smell that you might want so just spray it into the part of the room and you walk into the scents my next hack is this i don't know if any other person does this but i'm kind of addicted to doing this anytime i'm trying to comb my hair if be it my hair or a weave i try to i usually spray perfume directly on my hair I don't know if any other person does it but I just do it so that I can like have a strong or a very good smell but perfume tends to dry your hair out if you're not wearing the perfume particularly made for hair so one of the best things you can do is to just spray the perfume into your hair brush like so then you brush your hair normally the perfume will still stay on the weave that you want it to stay but it doesn't dry out your hair because you're not applying it directly right now currently these are some of the few perfume bottles i have like i tend to stock up perfume i just don't stick to one particular scent so instead of you like using several you can create your own custom perfume and people know you with that particular note you can combine like three perfumes together like strong uh, made and like very light scents then you should also know your perfumes the perfume the toilet and all that you know they are strong perfumes they are lighter notes so what we can do is if you're someone that you tend to combine a lot of perfumes it's okay that can be custom to you like for a particular period so you use the strongest first like from my batch this is the strongest of my perfumes I'll use this first followed by a lighter one I can use this secondly and then the lightest of them all the one that smells like very flowery and like the very girly one this is because if you use the strongest one last it overpowers every other thing that you've sprayed and you kind of like kill what you're going for so if you tend to like combine perfumes spray the strong one let's just say strongest 
stronger strong do you get so that's how to layer your perfume so for my next hack if you've like used a kind of perfume let's say you go perfume shopping and you spray it on the kind of like perfume that you don't like and you just can't stand the smell you don't want it to be on your body no problem the easy way out is for you to use don't use water don't use tissue just grab your baby wipes or your makeup wipes just take out one of the wipes and just rub it anywhere you've applied the perfume that's why it's good to apply perfume on your skin you can easily take it out if you've applied it on your clothing sorry it will just take that way to when you probably wash it off so just take your makeup wipes or your baby wipes and wipe it and the smell will go after like five minutes this is one of my favorite hacks maybe just because i can be vain sometimes but it's totally okay i just discovered this and i decided to go on with it if you're trying to test for new perfume instead of you using the blotter sheets or the blotter strips they give you at the perfume shop just take one of your business cards you can take like two or three business cards and like try on different perfumes i do this like almost every time just spray it on it to get the smell you know and this is okay because maybe when next you're handing out that business card the perfume will still linger on that business card and it just kind of gives you this kind of appeal like people know oh she's well put together you get so instead of you taking those blood sheets that can definitely toss away just take your business card or any business card that you have it might be your own business card and you smell it just like that then it leads, this leads me to my next hack when you try perfume don't smell it immediately you might not get the particular smell of what you want wait for it to dry a little bit that is when you get the true sense of what you've just tested finally this is another hack i love so much take some kitchen paper towels paper towels that are quite big and just blot some or spray some perfume on them and tuck this into your drawers where you have your clothes probably your underwear i do this for underwear a lot this just helps the it just makes it feel fresh like very good to go into that kind of thing it gives you this kind of like i love it and you totally would love it so you take one or two paper towels spray your favorite perfume on it and just tuck it in and to give you that amazing heavenly smell so these are my top hacks for perfumes i hope you like this video if you do kindly share and if you've not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe for more videos and i'll see you next time bye